Hi everyone, this is Prashad Parthiban. Today, I am going to cover generative AI use cases in final audit transaction. So, before going to use cases, let's quickly look at what do you mean by final audit. This is a transaction that we use in certain lines of business like workers' compensation or general liability to calculate the actual data. When I say actual data, say if you take workers' compensation policy, when a policy is issued, we have only the estimated payroll of the employees. So if there are five software engineers, they say yearly package is 300k, the employers give the 300k salary, we enter it, we calculate the premium. Now at the end of the one year, those software engineers can be promoted to directors. So their salary increases from 300k to 350k. Now during final audit is the time where the insurance company gathers the actual payroll, that's a 350k and calculate the premium. Now if the premium difference is say $1000, the insurance company sends the invoice for additional $1000 to make sure that the policy is covering the actual exposure. Now this is the overall concept. Now let's look at some of the use cases where generative AI can help to ease this entire process. To start with data extraction and verification. Without AI, the auditors have to go to the field, you know the actual payroll, right? And they have to verify if that payroll is correct or not by going to some ADP providers or any other payroll providers to look at the actual data. With AI, having access to different sources, it can automatically pull the actual payroll for those employers and enter the data automatically without somebody keying in the data. That's the number one use case. Second one is audit fee, right? Every audit has some kind of fee. Instead of giving a static fee, right? Sometimes if you don't have enough data, you will say for every audit the charge is $100, but it's not going to be a correct process, right? Some audit needs extensive work, whereas some audit needs less work. AI can look at the complexity of the work and charge the fee automatically based on the workload. Final audit risk scoring, right? There could be a scenario where a customer's estimated payroll and the actual payroll will be mostly same because of various factors. In that case, you don't want somebody or experienced auditor to look at it. You can ask system to automatically process the final audit. Whereas some customers were, uh, will have a huge difference in the payroll. Those customers, we have to have auditors look at it. So we can have something like predictive scoring from 1 to 10 or something, where complex customers can get a score of 10 versus customers who are not complex can get a score of 1. Based on that, we can determine if this audit has to be processed automatically or somebody have to look at it. Document generation is a very key point. Right? Generate AI can generate automatically the documents. With final audit being the end state of the entire process cycle, it needs a lot of document generation. For example, system have to generate the final audit receipt and send it to the customer for them to enter the actual payroll or collect the actual payroll from the payroll provider and enter it in the system. Right? So those kind of document generator can be done automatically of somebody manually creating it. Risk factor identification and discrepancy, sometimes again unknowingly also the employers can give data which is not matching the actual data. With AI having access to different data sources, they can easily detect the fraudulent activity sometimes or maybe the genuine mistakes and correct those mistakes easily. Collaboration, right, with AI, chatbots, etc. Instead of manual work, chatbots can directly work with the customers to collect the actual payroll or any other data and process the entire final audit seamlessly. Scheduling, right? Most of you know the main issue with audit is we have to schedule the audits on time. With AI having the unique data about each customer, we can schedule the audit so that it is easy for the customer to pay it on time or also it's easy for the insurance company to get the actual data on time, right? because it has correct data about the customer, it knows when to schedule, when to send the invoice to the customer so that they'll be on paying the premium on time. Again, final audit is a big concept that could be more use cases, but I'm trying to share from my own experience some of the use cases. Once again, thank you so much for your continuous support. Have a great day. Bye-bye.